I love Adam McKay. I love Adam McKay and have forever uh, have watched all of his movies many times. And I just think he's um, one of the most brilliant, funny, interesting, uh, committed people uh, with a, a sort of razor sharp wit and a gigantic heart. And I, I can't believe I fell into this group of people and I'm so happy to be here. Adam has a, an ability to hold about nine million things in his mind at once and still see his way through to what's funny and what's absurd and um, and how to point material. I mean, I have not a gigantic part, so I was away from the shooting quite a bit, and then I would come and go into, into the set from my home. And uh, it was a very snowy winter, and we were in COVID restrictions. We all had masks, and then we had shields, and he was ensconced over somewhere in, you know, Afghanistan, far, very far away in Video Village. And uh, he was almost like a heckler to us on, on, on the set because he would yell out ideas and, <laughs> and to Jonah, insults. And um, it just <laughs> made us all laugh and relax in very fraught circumstances. Making a movie under these circumstances was really something I'll never forget. <laughs> I loved the, the script. I thought the script was really great and important and really funny. And, um, but I had no idea what everybody else was doing. And when I saw the movie, I just thought it was, well, maybe the best movie ever made. <laughs> but certainly, it's the most important movie of my lifetime, no question. I didn't pay attention to the seriousness because my character doesn't pay attention to the seriousness. She's like, la, 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 I don't want to think about this. And um, so that was my job. And yeah, all I did was have fun with Jonah Hill, who's <laughs> really fun to be with and to work with. And I mean, in a way, it's hard because tears are coming down your cheeks and they have to come in from makeup and brush them away because he's pretty funny. Jennifer is just, she's just a beautiful, beautiful actress. She's pure. She's just in, indelibly true. Everything that she does is authentic and real and felt. And she had the hardest job because she was kind of this straight man, she and Leo, both. And so when, you know, Jonah would lob the incoming at them, she just had to take it and she just couldn't break. And I could see, you know, she was holding it <laughs> with everything she could. Uh, everything, every single frame about <laughs> of it is, is um, fueled by this this moment and where we find ourselves, our inability to communicate with each other. It's ironic in this time of mass communication where, where there's been this explosion of um, the ability of people to reach each other that they don't, that we are unable to speak to each other. We don't have any consensus on truth. We have, and the thing that's really gone away is the benefit of the doubt. We don't give each other that. And that's where you can sort of meet in the middle of an argument and, and because you, you don't suspect that the other person is a monster. And um, we've, we've lost that. So we find ourselves in, in these silos of misunderstanding. And um, that's tough. That's sort of what the movie's about. Well, uh, it made me want to go home and figure out how we can make the world get back on track, get the right priorities, get ourselves. Okay, there is one thing that we should be thinking about right now, 
all other things flow from it, all other questions of equity and justice and everything flows from our survival on the planet. And if we don't have that, we don't have anything else. And so I, I went home and thought, oh, I'm going to have to change my life now. And thanks, Adam McKay. <laughs>